The Delta variant is leading some hospitals to strengthen their already tight restrictions on visitors. LEX 18's Conroy Deluge continues our coronavirus coverage in Lexington. The number of COVID-19 cases going up means that the number of hospitalizations has as well, and that's led to Baptist Health here in Lexington to make some visitor policy changes. Just one month ago, there were only three COVID positive patients at Baptist Health, zero in the ICU. Now we have uh, eight patients in the ICU and 34 patients in the hospital, and that's happened over a fairly rapid period of time. Dr. Mark Doherty says that sharp increase means revisiting what they can control the number of visitors allowed inside. Updated guidelines include no overnight visitors, no visitors under the age of 18. For COVID negative inpatients, only one designated visitor, zero for those who were admitted with COVID. Dr. Doherty acknowledged this will be tough on families and their sick loved ones. That is difficult because we know it's very important uh, for the patient's recovery, uh, for psychological reasons, for you know all kinds of reasons uh, for people to be able to have visitors. But we especially, for, from our standpoint, don't don't want to see transmission, especially to our ill patients who are, you know, already have other problems to deal with. Just up Nicholasville Road, UK Healthcare says they are still allowing two designated visitors for most non COVID inpatients. Visitors must be at least 12 years old. Now, on July 30th, UK Healthcare did move back to tier three operations, meaning stricter following of pandemic guidelines will be in place, such as personal protective equipment wearing and hygiene. Currently, the hospital has 28 COVID positive inpatients. 12 in the ICU. St. Joseph in Lexington has 17 COVID patients, and the spokesperson there says at the moment there have been no visitation policy changes. Back at Baptist Health, Dr. Doherty uh, says the vaccine does not 100% protect you from infection, school. but the risk of the shot can prevent far greater consequences, especially with the highly contagious Delta variant. You're going to pay the price, or someone in your family is going to pay the price. You're going to get infected over the next two months if you don't get the vaccine and not just get infected, but if you're unvaccinated, you have a chance of getting severely ill. In Lexington, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News.